It's 10 trivia questions on Mardi Gras for brand new Patreon subscriber, Tori Prothro. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show. Today's episode, all about Mardi Gras trivia. If you like celebrating in the streets of New Orleans and getting those beads thrown at you, you can play along with today's episode and feel like you're there in person in the French Quarter. I've never been myself, but uh, my wife has, and she says it's quite the party, and I trust her because I've only seen her really loaded maybe 10 times in my whole life. And uh, anything she says when she's talking about those stories, I believe it because they're rare. We have um, all kinds of fun stuff coming up on the podcast over the next couple weeks. Topics picked by listeners like you. I'm talking about Ninja Turtles trivia for Mo and Brenda Martinez. Shaun of the Dead trivia for Manny Cortez. Vernon Hege and Sword and Sandal movies, which I have to look up. Uh, would that be like uh, Prince of Persia? <laughs> I can't think of a Sword and Sandal movie. Uh, that was a, probably a terrible example, but Jake Gyllenhaal, he made it. Uh, Josh Gregovich wants 80s WWE theme songs. Aaron Burgess wants Orange is the New Black trivia. John Miel Jevic, Married with Children. And uh, let's see, Napoleon Dynamite for Chris Arneson. Those are just a few of the things we'll be recording that are picks from Patreon subscribers. Go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds and join our club at $5 a month or more and get to pick a topic. It's pretty cool. We have our warm up game here, Geek Out. And I want you to name two actors who have played a scientist, four fictional bands or groups from television. For books, four titles in which a cowboy is the main character. For music, two songs about space. And for miscellaneous, six fictional characters who are writers. So there you go. We've got Mardi Gras trivia coming at you right now. Listen to this one and have a nice beverage of some kind. Here we go. It's Mardi Gras trivia. Let's see what you know. Number one, in what country was the first known Mardi Gras celebration? Was it the U.S., France, Germany, or Spain? Number one, in what country was the first known Mardi Gras celebration? The U.S., France, Germany, or Spain? Number two, what is traditionally hidden inside a king cake? Number two, what is traditionally hidden inside a king cake? Number three, Bacchus, B-A-C-C-H-U-S, is the Roman god of what drink? Bacchus is the Roman god of what drink? Number four, carnival comes from the Latin phrase carni veil, which means farewell to what? Number four, farewell to what? Carni veil. Question five, special coins thrown during Mardi Gras parades are called what D word? It's a answer that starts with the letter D as in dog. Number five, special coins, what D word? Number six, true or false, it's illegal to not wear a mask on board a float. Is that true or false? Can't wear a mask. It's illegal to not wear a mask on board a float. True or false? Number seven, what Tom Cruise starring film with the subtitle Never Go Back takes place partly at Mardi Gras? Question number eight, which of these TV shows had a spinoff called New Orleans? Was it NCIS, CSI, or Law and Order? Question nine, what is the religious two-word name for Mardi Gras? And number 10, with his chest, bandana, and skin color, which of the Ninja Turtles would most represent the three colors of Mardi Gras?
Your two-point bonus question, Al Johnson had a hit jazz song called It's Blank Time. Fill in the blank. Al Johnson, It's Blank Time. Those are all your questions on Mardi Gras coming up on March 1st, 2022. What are you doing for the big party? I hope it's something fun. We'll be back with the answers after this noise. We are back with the answers to Mardi Gras trivia. Let's party together and see how we did. Number one, in what country was the first known Mardi Gras celebration? It was France. France for the win. France was home of the first Mardi Gras celebration some 200 years ago, I want to say, maybe longer. Number two, what is traditionally hidden inside a king cake? That would be a plastic baby. And if you get that bite of cake with the plastic baby in it, you have to throw the big party next year. Number three, Bacchus is the Roman god of wine. That is the drink. Number three, wine. Number four, carnival comes from carny vale, which means farewell to meat. Farewell to meat, Lent, etc. You get it. Number five, special coins thrown during Mardi Gras parades are called what D word? Doubloons, which you only hear in like pirate speak or maybe on DuckTales with Uncle Scrooge diving into them. Doubloons. Number six, true or false, it's illegal to not wear a mask on board a float. That is true. It's illegal. You can get a ticket or arrested if you don't have a mask on when you're on the float. Number seven, what Tom Cruise starring film with the subtitle Never Go Back takes place partly at Mardi Gras? That's Jack Reacher 2, Never Go Back. And I hope they never go back to Tom Cruise playing Jack Reacher because now I'm hooked on uh, the new guy, which his name escapes me, but he's fantastic. And I just finished season one on Amazon Prime last night. Highly recommend it. Really, really good. And I hope they do 20 seasons. They'd be dumb to not do a minimum of 10, in my opinion, because it's just all the content's there. You just got to film it. They wrote the books and this guy's perfect. And uh, a lot of people watch that. And um, it has an 8.7 on IMDb ratings, which is really high for anything on there. Number eight, which of these TV shows had a spinoff called New Orleans, NCIS, CSI, or Law and Order? It was NCIS. Number nine, what is the religious two-word name for Mardi Gras? Mardi Grove. Shrove Tuesday, Mardi Gras, number nine. Shrove Tuesday and Pancake Day is another one. Uh, number 10, with his chest, bandana, and skin color, which of the Ninja Turtles would most represent the three colors of Mardi Gras? I felt really smart when I came up with this one, guys. Donatello, he's got the purple bandana, the green skin, and the gold I don't know, chest plate, if you want to call it that, uh, his his front half of his shell. And there you go, number 10. Your bonus for two points, Al Johnson had a hit jazz song called It's Carnival Time. It's Carnival Time. And it is time to end the episode here. I hope you had fun playing along on this short little ditty. We have a fact of the day for you, and the fact is that sp- uh, Spinraza, a drug for spinal, it might be Spinaraza, Spinraza, a drug for spinal muscular atrophy, has a list price of $750,000. So that's insane. I hope you don't need this drug, or if you do, somehow you get it for cheaper. $750,000 for the drug Spinraza. And uh, that's insane. But that is a fact of the day for today. Thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for telling a friend. Thanks for celebrating Mardi Gras on March 1st, coming up next week. And uh, we'll see you next time for more trivia with Buds. Cheers. Cheers.